Hi everybody, Joe Broncato, the Airgun Scientist here at the Skunk Works Lab. In today's short shot, we're going to learn how to speed up and slow down a slow flow valve. You might want to increase the speed of your valve because A, it was slowly losing speed over time and we'll describe the reasons for that such as poor air filtration. The other reason is you might have an air gun such as a big bore uh, that takes 4,500 and you just want to pound the air in there. You don't want to wait and, you know, take its time. So um, this is a video on how to do that. The first thing you got to do is you get yourself a valve and I'm, we're going to, if the slow flow is placed in the proper spot, it'll be placed at the bottom of the valve. And, and we can go into that in another video, but the gist of it is unless it's here, you're going to get false readings on the gauge. So uh, it's either going to be a screw or a wrench to remove it. And in this case, you just use a, uh, an adjustable wrench. Uh, this one's at metric. Okay, you unscrew this nut and out comes the screw followed by a spring. And this is basically a needle and seat arrangement. Now, for those of you who have worked on carburetors, you know, a needle and a seat, basically when the needle goes into the seat, it blocks fuel flow or just like on a toilet bowl, uh, the needle on the seat restricts the water coming out. And then when the needle comes up, water flows. It's very similar in the TJ3 valve. Uh, when the air is being blown into the tank, the spring pushes or the air pressure pushes the needle out of the way. And when you stop filling it, the spring pushes it back into the seat and it would effectively block it off, except for this little tiny scribe mark right here. And we're going to show that to you. That's the one right there. Okay. So there's a close of it. You can see that that little scratch right there is all that allows the air to get through. So basically we've a hundred percent blocked off the air and then just allow that little scribed mark to allow the air through. So what could be causing it to slow down? Again, we alluded to the fact that on occasion, uh, people will have bad air. And what I mean by that is they're going to a supplier that's uh, a, a lot of times it's guys that have their own compressors because they're using a, an, inact, an inappropriate filter. They think they're using something and they're not. You got to use something like one of these two. And, I'll, and seriously, uh, and they, uh, go to see uh, some of our other videos on filters. We explain it why in detail. In short, you need a filter that A, has molecular sieve, B, doesn't touch the, the bottle, aluminum bottle, C, is packed tightly, D has a space for the water to collect and be ejected. I've got a whole bunch of reasons on our uh, other videos about filtration systems. Take a look uh, on our channel, please. But that's what you got to do. So if you're starting to get that schmutz or something, it's usually a buildup of some kind of um, just junk, funk, whatever you want to call it on that taper. And what you got to do is you just kind of got to clean it off. Now, if you just want to speed it up, like say you just got the valve and you're like, nah, it's too slow right off the bat. I want this thing fast. Well, you could just remove this part. Okay. Then you'll have a full flow valve, but let's just say you just want to increase it a little bit. Okay. Let's say, you know, it's kind of slow, but I just want it a little bit faster. Then what I do is I chuck this up in a um, padded vise and you look for that groove and you just do maybe two strokes. And I mean that two, maybe three strokes with a very fine file. Remember, that scratch is really small. And if you start digging into this thing, you're going to basically have full flow. So you don't want that. You just put a couple of strokes in it and you're good. What if you want to slow it down? What if you're like, I screwed up. I scratched it way too much. Never fear. Chuck up your needle in your trusty drill. Get yourself some very fine emery cloth or sandpaper. You spin this at your homemade lathe. Hold this against it, give it about a five to 10 second burst. Give it, give it a three second burst first. Take a look at how that line looks. Did it go down noticeably? Give it another shot for another three seconds. You don't need to be doing like 15 seconds with that. You'll, you'll obliterate the line. So that's about it. Let's see. Just after you've adjusted this to the amount that you want, you either leave it out if you want 100% flow, which I would not do. Uh, you can clean the scribe or you can, uh, you can start to obliterate it slightly if you want to slow it down. Put it back in and there you go. And that's how you change the flow of a slow flow valve. This is Joe Broncato, the Airgun Scientist, saying thank you for watching our videos. 
Take care. God bless. Shoot safely. And please remember to like and subscribe to our channel.